mental health programs in the Northeast Kingdom to help bring more services to rural areas. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Kiana Burks. The National Alliance on Mental Illness Vermont introduced a new connection recovery support group in St. Johnsbury. Our Lucy Kale joins us live after learning more about the programs. Lucy. Kiana, the free support groups meet every Wednesday from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and give people time to connect with others who are experiencing the same thing as they are. This is the seventh program NAMI has set up across the state, and leaders say it's an important step in providing mental health services to the less populated areas. It's a good way to change your life is to by focusing on, on mental health. David Turner has volunteered as the Burlington NAMI Connection Support Recovery Group facilitator since 2009. Once a week, anyone who wants to can come to a 90-minute meeting at the Episcopal Church on Cherry Street and meet with others experiencing mental health issues. It's revolutionary to share your, your story with other people, and that really is how it begins, by uh, you opening up to other people about what's really going on inside with you. NAMI brought in their programs to include the Northeast Kingdom this month, with sessions beginning in St. Johnsbury. Program assistant Kathy Johnson says this expands access to care there. I think it helps to improve it because it gives people another option. It's hard for people to find a therapist, um, you know, because they're, you know, um, they're all <laughs> taken and busy and um, aren't accepting new patients. So I think this just gives them another outlet. Um, that they can utilize and, and have in their, you know, their pocket. Turner says the more people share about mental health, the smaller the stigma. Feeling awful about ourselves because we had mental illness. We should not feel that way. And NAMI fights all the time, day and night, against stigma. And NAMI wants to fight the stigma in as many places around the state as possible. We're always looking to expand, um, you know, because we want to get into as many communities as we can. But in order to do that, they need more volunteers to run the sessions. They say the more volunteers they have, the more they can grow which Turner says is vital for tackling mental illness in communities. You need to uh, get out of existing in your own world by yourself. The best antidote to mental illness and loneliness and isolation, uh, depression, uh, is, is being with other people. Groups meet every week in St. Johnsbury, Barrie, St. Albans, Burlington, Rutland, and virtually for Southern Vermont. For information on the sessions or how to volunteer, you can visit our website, WCAX.com. In the studio, Lucy Kale, Channel 3 News. Lucy, thank you.